Okay, I survived to week 12. So we're gonna watch and I'm gonna blather. Um, this week I needed something very, very quick and basic. Um, I think grand total, the female earrings were like an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes for both pairs, the entire thing. Um, and that was still broken up into me getting up and multiple times. So I'm currently showing the basic uh, unpainted, unglazed idea that I had come up with. And I'm using titanium earring backs because I have allergies to everything on earth. So I can only wear titanium metal. So I specifically wanted to make Halloween earrings for myself. So I'm grabbing out some titanium earring backs um, and I'm gonna make myself a ghost and a pumpkin. And I'm gonna show you how I made those go the ghost and the pumpkin. Um, so use whatever earring metal you can handle. And then I use these eye hook things I've seen other people use where it's the circle and then the spin bottom. Don't quote me on the names of anything. Um, what was I talking about? You have to put the hook on the earring bottom or else the thing doesn't hang right. I made the mistake of doing that before. So you always have to have an additional hook under the earring for your earring to hang right. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if any of the words I say make sense to other people. So I'm trying. Um, so I want my earrings to be big, but I don't want them to be heavy because it is female, which is kind of heavy. Uh, so I take tin foil and I put a wad of it in the middle so that because tin foil doesn't weigh anything and it can be bigger uh, and you're cutting back on some of the weight. How many times am I going to say, uh, <laughs> now I'm going to be self-conscious. Anyways, so I'm trying to make four equalish size tin foil balls so I can decide about how big I want them. Because I want them to be, you know, sizable earrings so you can see them in a big hair or from far away or something. Anyways, so I'm choosing to use the translucent clay because I was curious how it was going to bake out. I also had white, but I thought... Let's go for translucent. I wished I had glow in the dark, but I don't. Anyways, so translucent, and this is how that goes. It's got a little bit of an opaqueness to it, which I liked. It's kind of fun. Um, I felt like it's more fun than white would have been because white is more like a sheet, and I feel like this is more like a phantom. What's the other word for ghost? There are other words. Um, apparatus? No. Asparagus? Something like that. Um... Anyways, so I'm going to make, I wanted specifically a very specific shape ghost. And then I wanted a witch hat on him because he or her or they, they needed to be decorated um, cutely. And I, was, I also had a very specific face in mind for them. So my hat brim wound up being way too thick, but I was struggling to make that thinner so it is what it is and I'm still happy with it I think it's cute and eventually I did realize my ghost shape is the same as my hat shape basically <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny um and then my pumpkin is just a ball with the stem is a triangle sort of cone-ish bob and then tube rolled out as vine but so for the ball of the pumpkin I didn't want it to look like a basketball and I was like, how do you make it not look like a basketball, right? And it was very round. It wasn't squatty at all. So I tried to take a toothpick to draw lines around it to make it look pumpkin-y. And also as you go, <coughs> I personally recommend using the bake glue stuff. I don't know what it's called. It's the bakeable medium glue adhesive whatever. I don't know. I do that. I also use toothpicks and I take teeny tiny pieces and I'll put like a toothpick in the top of the head and also through the hat pieces so that like the whole thing is attached to itself. You know, how many times am I going to say that? Okay. <clears throat> Lost my train of thought. And then that, that other liquid I'm using is a thinner because the female gets hard and this helps you mold it and use it a bit. So then, um... I kind of already explained how I did this part. And 
I attach the earring back before I bake it so that it's all good to go. For my details, I draw with, it's just a, an unsharpened pencil with a pin, like a sewing pin or needle taped to the end. And that's how I draw details in to Fimo. Um, so for the lines. And then you bake it. At some point I'll get around to baking it. I do it at, it was 225 for 25 minutes. And then I let it harden for like an hour. And then you can do whatever you're going to do with it. <laughs> oh, you're going to see what I did. Oh, geez. So, yeah, whatever. So I survived my spinal shot. It was quite the experience. And it was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my goodness. So I was expecting it to be kind of intense, right? But I wasn't expecting it to be what it was. Holy sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. So when you cry in the x-ray room, you get <laughs> a private escort out with <laughs> a very kind nurse. It was... It was a lot of anxiety. Oh my God. I think the biggest problem was just, I couldn't get out of my own head, but I managed to survive that. And hopefully that helps. It was a horrid experience, mostly because you have to stop taking anti-inflammatories. So and now I'm still just in this horrid space of, I need them to be back on board. <sighs> and my mind doesn't work at all with all the pain medicine. So I'm... I'm half here. So when I want to paint these things, I use this cool rubber tip, pointy tipped brush thing that I found in our drawer of painting tools. All the FEMO stuff in here is an accumulation of things my mom's bought, my various sisters have bought. And I think I might have bought some of it, but I don't know. I mostly just wind up with other people's art supplies here. It's wonderful. It's a glorious art supply of magicness. Anyways, did that even make sense? Was that a sentence? I draw, I take paint pens because they're easy and I just point, point, point down, you know, so it makes a little puddle of paint so I don't have to get out actual thick paint. This is thinner, much easier to use, and I just like them. And then I use my uh, found rubber brush tip to try to draw on the lines. It's not great. I'm not perfect. It is what it is. But it's a cute effect and I feel like it really helped make it look more like a pumpkin and less like a football. Um, and then for the ghost, I just do a very basic, you know, and I wanted him to have cheeks. So I chose, took me a long time to choose what color pink, but I, it might even be a purple. I don't remember what color I chose at this point. So yeah, I just do a basic face. Oh, did I ever point out? It's just, it's easier to paint the face on and do little details like this because I have, when I'm trying to do like a fleck of the female, it's one eye is, you know, way bigger than the other. So this was better. This is easier. And then, you know, you got to let it dry for the five minutes. It's good. It dries for five minutes, right? And then it's time to glaze it. So I wanted to glaze the whole thing at once. And I needed something to hang it on. And I don't have an earring rack because I haven't been able to wear earrings in years because I was allergic to metal. So I've only recently learned that I can wear titanium. I can handle titanium. So I want some earrings, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> made myself an earring rack it's popsicle sticks and I um it's whoo leaning it's the leaning popsicle stick rack and then I realized I should have made the holes uh like not not touching each other but you know spaced some kind of words for that anyways I tried to think thinking is really not my thing here I did a thing and it sort of worked <sighs> has anything I said made sense today probably not so I just needed them to be able to hang so that I could glaze the whole thing at once and then let it dry. Because the glaze has to dry for 24 hours. And the glaze totally helps a lot. It really makes it look like a fun little shiny thing. I don't know. I feel like a cat saying that. Do birds like shiny things? I'd rather be a bird. I'd like to be a little yellow bird. Or a big crazy squawking bird. You know, the kind with the long legs and the big knees that scream. I would like to be a rosate spoonbill. Do those scream... Those are cute because they're pink and tall. I like birds. <laughs> Yeep. So. I survived this week. I hope you did too, I guess. <laughs> um, did you? Because this has been a rough week. <sighs> check in. I got to check in to the people I know. Still one more person I'm waiting on. Going to hunt you down. Are you still alive? I'm going to find you. 
I'm a creep. <laughs> but I'm a creep who cares. Oh my god. So here's my little things, you know. Uh, my my pumpkins and my what are those even called? Ghosts. There you go. That's the face I was talking about. I never gave you a close up. This video is a bit chaotic, but I managed Hopefully next week I have a little bit more brain cells. If there's a next week, I'll see you then.